equipment, but it's on the other side. Tomorrow, we will do the same thing again, what you just went through today. And we are about to close these, and we'll go back. Tomorrow, they come and remove these. This is where we'll stand. America was named after a man by America Vespucci. He never came here. And when Columbus landed, he planted a flag. And he said, Terra Nullius. And that meant nothing existed here. And he meant that no matter who these people were, they were heartless and religious lit. They didn't have any religion. He didn't realize that we had spirituality, that we had belief. Some of you talk about America like you like that name. I come from a place, Oatham Juvet. They call it Phoenix today. Arizona, Arizona is how we say it. A couple of days ago, I was reminded that something happened here. And the Americans, they call it the worst terrorist act in its history. But they quickly forget that terrorism landed in 1492. And some of you don't realize that this border, this man-made border of Mexico and the United States, crosses my territory. And we never asked for permission to go across this man-made border or come back into this country. It is our land. So those of you that are in the military, be aware of something. And it's this, that when you take that oath, you sometimes fight against your own. And over in Afghanistan and Syria, Iraq, people are killing people of color. And they're indigenous. They call them the indigenous populations. They're fighting for something. We may not agree with them politically. Most of them want to fight for their land. In our territory, after 9-11, the Department of Homeland Security, the Border Patrol, invaded our territory. And today you have over 40,000 vehicles on the Thono Autumn Nation that belong to the Border Patrol and the Department of Homeland Security. And they continue to violate and destroy our flora and our fauna and terrorize our elders and the people who just go across to get wood or medicine. The cartels are controlling that whole territory because the governments allow them to do that. Drugs that come into this country, and I want to say this, those of you that smoke marijuana, understand this, that it comes through our territory. If you grow it, okay, but over 90% of that marijuana crosses our borders, and our young people carry it on their, pack, their backs so that they can make $500. But if they get arrested, they do 10 to 20 years. And we are, they are filled, filling these prisons with brown people and black people and our poor white brothers and sisters. So don't tell me that you support this marijuana movement, okay? But remind yourself who it impacts the most. And that's people through our territory. It comes through our land, and it's violence that controls it. It's violence. People are disappearing all over. Thousands and thousands of brown people are being killed along that border. All 
all the time. I don't ask for permission to come into my own land. I'm not America. I'm Akhmed Oatham. That's who I am. And when you speak, know where you're from. Know whose land you're on. These people, they gave us permission as runners to come here. I want to say that because a lot of you love this America. We are older than that concept. We are older than that. And we have spirituality. We have our beliefs. I don't carry a green card. I don't carry any of those things. I drive across that line. They try to stop me. I speak my language and they don't understand me, but they know. They probably know my face by now. But I want to say that to you, not in a negative way. But when you have that marijuana in your hand, you ask where it came from. One of our relatives said they're stealing water from the Owens Valley River, the Paiute Shoshone. They are in Los Angeles. They are. Know where that water comes from. Know where you stand. Know where you're from. And know whose land you're on. Remember that. Thank you. Oh. 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 Oh.